Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Real Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over unions, what they do, how to use them, how they work, everything you need to know about unions. I've gotten this question quite a bit and I remember back in the day when I was trying to learn how to build, uh, my bro Funky Squad taught me how to use unions and they were the most confusing thing ever to me. So uh, that's what we're going to kind of go over today. So right here, if we go to our modeling tab, we have union, negate, and separate. All right. Now unions are more so for the people who don't really want to pick up blender and learn how to use it so let's just go ahead and get right into it we're gonna make a couple walls here uh and i'll just make a few of them all right guys so i have three walls and i made them blue just to easily separate things from what we're doing for this first wall we're gonna make a door and you could go as complex as you want with the door like you know make whatever kind of shape you could put a cylinder like halfway in i'll do that so i'm just gonna grab a cylinder right there and I'm going to copy the position of this part right here. It's a very helpful tip, uh, by the way. Like, it's not nothing to do with unions, but this, this tip right here is pretty helpful. Paste that in. And I'm just going to hold shift to kind of scale out all sides evenly. Um, I don't even need to do that. I'm just going to do it like this. There we go. And we're just going to move it up. And that makes, like, a perfect rounded top for, like, a door, a window, whatever you want to do. All right. So... We're going to make sure both of our pieces are extending through the place that we want to cut a hole in. They don't need to match because both of these parts will be disappearing. I'm also going to turn these the color of like the original block so no one gets confused. So, say we want our door right over here, a little bit to the side. What we're going to do is grab our two pieces, click, hold shift, and click the other one, and click on negate. That's going to turn these two pieces red, alright? And then you're going to hold shift again and click the part that you want to make a hole in all right i'm trying to explain this without using the terms union negate and separate so we're going to click this and then we're just going to click on union now what this does is gives us a little door okay now unions i don't particularly fancy using them but they are very good and helpful if you're not wanting to learn blender now as you see there's a little bar down here i could just control z and uh control z these as well and i just have to expand this so it cuts off the bottom too then we're going to hold shift, negate, hold shift again to click on the part we want to hold through and click union. Now, sometimes unions like the more complex of a shape you're cutting into an object, the harder it's going to be to kind of like walk through it, if that makes sense. So most of the time you can walk through just fine. If it's a door, you know, it'll be a door. But sometimes there will be like an invisible wall. Uh, and it's just like, I think the more complex shapes, Roblox has a bit of trouble uh, finding what's collidable and not. So, check this out. Boom. This should have no problem. There we go. A nice door without using Blender, no modeling involved. Now, if we want to make a little window, it's the same process, guys. We're going to grab a block, put it where we want it to be. We're going to go something like this. And I mean, my guess is you guys are not going to make the, the little holes for the window the lines for the window in the union or they're going to be the same color as the wall so you'll just want to cut out a square in the wall and then fill it in with however you want to decorate your window in fact we could probably do it on the same little piece over here so let me do that all right we got a little window i'm going to center it a little bit better than that bring it down a little bit and we could even make this a bit high as well so like one of those like long windows i guess why not right so we're going to make sure it's going all the way through our part it doesn't have to be even on both sides it could be barely through on this side and massive on this side it doesn't matter as long as it's going through your object we're going to make sure we're clicking on it click negate and then hold the part we want to cut a hole in and click union all right and that's how you make holes in objects any shape as well you could do this with any part it does not work with meshes so that's kind of one little downfall and another downfall guys uh, resizing. You can no longer just resize one side. It will scale as one object. So this is without holding shift. It will just scale as one object. And, uh, you know, it might not be the most helpful. Say you messed up. All right. Like, dang, this is a union. I don't want it to be a union anymore. You could go ahead and click separate. And that's going to bring us back to here. And then if we click on this again and click separate, it'll bring us back to here. And then these are also like unions. So you can't uh, resize them. You'll have to make these parts again if you want to um, resize or make them any bit different. But the more objects you have, all of these are negated right here. Clicked on them, pressed negate, and then I click on the wall, press union. There we go. That's how it works. You can do it with as many objects as you want. And I want to go over this real quick too because it caught me off guard at the beginning. If you want to change the color of this, say we want like a tan building. As you notice, 
we clicked nugget or no i don't know how to say the word but it's all good and the color didn't change so you just want to go into your properties and there will be this one called the use part color just tick that and now it'll change to any color you want to change it to just like this guys so we're gonna go back to like our blue i don't know simulator-esque shop there we go and uh <laughs> Yeah, that's how you use unions, guys. This is a short tutorial. I just wanted to make sure uh, you guys you, you guys got the goods, all right? But I think that is going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more tutorials like this or challenges, dev builds, uh, fixing fan builds, I do a bunch of stuff. Or you have any ideas, comment them below. Subscribe. Make sure to drop a like to help your boy out. Later.